All right, guys, so today's video, we're going to be talking about this. And what this is, is a baseball cap. It just looks like a simple baseball cap, but this one actually plays music. And that's what caught my attention. And I think the fact that it just looks like a normal baseball cap is one of its best features. I mean, you could wear this anywhere and it doesn't look like any type of gadget or technology that's just gonna stand out or draw attention. And it's a $25 cap that has a Bluetooth receiver inside of it and also two speakers, which allows you to connect to your phone or device or whatever. And it allows you to listen to your music or podcasts while you're doing a lot of different things. So obviously this isn't a type of device that I feel is going to be for everyone, but I have found myself using this cap in a lot of different situations. And I also started to think about who this cap would be for. If you're somebody that just wears a baseball cap a lot of the times, uh, and you just like to listen to podcasts or just music in the background, maybe you're somebody on a job site where you still need to hear your surroundings or somebody that's going for a walk or running or riding a bike. Obviously those situations, you still need to be aware of your surroundings, but those are also situations where you could be wearing a baseball cap. And in my case, where a lot of you guys may not know, I actually coach a girls travel softball team. Uh, so when we're out at practice, obviously I'm wearing a cap. I also go and hit in the batting cages a lot myself and I work with different girls in the batting cages. So having something like this has definitely fit my lifestyle quite a bit. So we're gonna talk about the cap itself. We're gonna talk about the sound, what all it comes with and why I think this is something I could see a lot of people using, especially when you can pick it up for around 25 bucks. Now, as far as the colors that it comes in, you can see that I have the black model here, uh, but it also comes in a blue and a gray version. And honestly, this little control section on the left side of the cap, I actually like the look of. I think it's very simple. It's very clean looking. Uh, they didn't put it on the front of the cap. Uh, which means you can actually go and have like a team logo embroidered or something embroidered on the front of the cap if you want to. The cap itself has a fabric type material. It's not one of those that has a cheap plastic or smooth look to it. Uh, it is an adjustable cap. You don't have to worry about small, medium, or large. And overall, it's a very interesting device that I just found myself using a lot more than I thought that I would. So it was definitely worth sharing on the channel. Now, as far as the way that this works, inside the cap on the left side, you actually have a pocket where the Bluetooth receiver is sitting inside. Now this is where you would also charge these. Now it does come with a micro USB cable to charge these. And I honestly thought at least at this point in my reviewing career that I would never have to say micro USB again. And for some reason, this company decided to use that type of cable. But speaking of the charging, battery life, you're going to get about six hours on a full charge. Uh, it does say that you can get about 48 hours on standby. So if you're not listening to anything for 48 hours, it's nice to know whenever you go back to use your cap, you are going to have some battery life. Now, as far as the actual technology that these have, it is using Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, and it actually has some really good range to it. You can actually get about 45 feet away from your device. Uh, you don't have to worry about disconnect or any kind of dropouts. I can see like if you're in the front yard or the backyard doing yard work, you have your phone off to the side, you don't have to worry that you're going to lose a connection. But I am somebody that always keeps my phone in my pocket and I didn't have any kind of dropout connections using them that way. And that's impressive because there's a lot of earbuds that I test where as soon as you put your phone in your pocket, uh, the earbuds will just drop out or have some sort of connection issue. Uh, and I didn't experience that with this cap. So huge plus on the connection. And also inside the cap, on the front part of the hat up top, not on the actual bill itself, is where the two speakers are located. And just like the little receiver on the left side, the speakers can also be removed. So you can take all of that out and actually wash the cap if you need to. And one thing that I thought was very interesting and I don't like about the cap is there's no official IP rating. So if you are gonna use them in those type of situations where you might be sweating heavily or if you're outdoors and you think it might rain, you're going to have to be a little careful because there's nothing that says you have any kind of water protection on these. So although it's not a huge investment at 25 bucks, I don't 
know how resistant it is to water or how much you want to risk using them in those type of situations. Now going back to actually talking about where the speaker placement is on the cap, um, I have seen some caps where they put the speakers on the underside of the bill so it's kind of facing right down in front of your face. Uh, but the speakers being on the top right here at the top of the cap means your sound is being played in a direction that's going directly out. And what that means is anybody that's around you is going to hear absolutely everything that you're listening to. And there may be some situations where that is a good thing. Uh, you may just be by yourself and that doesn't matter. But if you are in a crowd or where people are going to be around you, uh, you might want to be a little mindful that basically you're wearing a little boom box right there on your head facing out towards everybody. So this is, again, not something that I would use in those type of situations. So going back to the controls that are located on the left side of the cap, in the middle you have basically a multifunction button. This is your power button. It is your button you would use to play and pause. And then on the outside is where your volume buttons are located. And then also the buttons you would use to skip your tracks forward and go backwards. And you can also summon your smart assistant. So somehow this company figured out a way to give you all of your controls on a cap where there's still companies that aren't giving you all of your controls on headphones and earbuds. So that is another huge plus about this. But another thing that's interesting is if you're out walking or running or doing whatever and somebody tries to call you, you can actually answer your phone call with the cap because there is a microphone located right here where you see this little box as well. And the mic is not anything special. I think it's just there kind of like as an afterthought, but it's there as a matter of convenience. Again, you don't have to grab your phone. You can touch the button, answer the call, and I don't think anybody is going to have a problem being able to understand you on the other end, although I don't think this is the best mic, but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is a mic test using the music hat. Uh, you can see that right now it is a little squared off, which some people actually like this design. I personally like it when this kind of flattens out a little bit over time, but this is what it would look like fresh out of the box. I just wanted to do this test. This way you guys can hear what it would sound like if you were to take a call. So now let's talk about the sound. Now, if you are specifically looking at this cap to just replace your earbuds or replace your headphones or even your bone conducting headphones, this is not what this is for. The sound on here is definitely not going to win any awards. In fact, bass is non-existent. I really would like to have some kind of haptic feedback type of bass into the cap. I think that would just add a whole other element to this. This isn't for accurate listening. This isn't even for intense listening. This is kind of like having a Bluetooth speaker off to the side and just being able to listen to music in the background or a podcast. This is perfect for podcasts because I feel like the mids and the treble came through extremely clear. Everything sounds very clean on those aspects. It's just really lacking in low end. So if you are somebody that's trying to feel bass, just forget it. This cap is not going to do that. And I don't really think that's what it's intended to do. Uh, kind of know what you're going into if you're looking at this type of device. I thought it was kind of silly, but interesting at first. And while having this, again, it just fits a lot of different situations where I just want to hear music kind of off in the background. I, I can't intensely listen to music while I'm out coaching. I can't intensely listen to music and still be aware of my surroundings. So again, a $25 cap where I would be wearing a baseball hat anyway, definitely came in handy. And I, I just found it to be something that was interesting enough that I wanted to share with you guys. So guys, that wraps up my video on the music hat or baseball cap. I don't even know the exact title of what it is. I mean, it came in a pouch. It is very simple, straight to the point, and I kind of like that approach. So guys, that wraps up my video on these. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.